Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Rondo. I'm one of the doctors here at Wholeness Center. Uh, part of what I do here is run the neurofeedback department. And I'm here today to show you what a neurofeedback session looks like. Typically then, after we get an individual um, set up, we get the sensors on their, on their scalp, uh, the skin prep sensors are on, um, individuals sit down, put on some headphones, maybe get a controller, put their feet up and get comfortable, and then they're ready to get going on their session. So the session involves about 30 minutes of actual training, uh, with perhaps some breaks in between or uh, pauses and things like that to kind of help them regroup if we, if we lose focus. Uh, but essentially about a 30 minute session um, and in that time we'll be uh, behind the individual using the laptops while they're uh, using the, um, uh, the computer monitors there to be able to see uh, what's going on and what uh, we're trying to train. And so we'll be behind the scenes controlling the frequencies and getting them to, uh, to manipulate them in a way that we want. And so that's all done without them actively knowing. However, as they're getting better, we're, we're, we're making it harder and we're pushing them harder to, uh, to get more out of the training. We get a reward about 90% of the time. If we were training you, we'd be getting it probably about 70% of the time. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'll turn them to about 70 so you can kind of see what it's like. This is after you've probably done about 10 15 sessions and you can kind of get the hang of it. The results of the session are then uh, uh, documented and plotted onto graphs so that we can track the data uh, throughout the sessions to monitor progress. Typically, if we can get an individual to, to respond or to change two out of three of the parameters that we're changing, they'll come back and tell me that their symptoms are better. At the end of the day, it's just people coming back and telling us they feel better is, is what we're doing and why we're doing it. So uh, we just have a number of ways to monitor that so that we can make sure we're doing what we want to do.